In the Shannon Hills neighborhood in Saline County, receding floodwaters earlier today revealed the mess left behind after several inches of water flooded homes there. Fox 16's Price McKeon gives us a look at the damage. About a couple inches or an inch or so above the, um, above the baseboards. Aaron Potter lives on Donnie Drive. And that's throughout the house. The Shannon Hills neighbor says he came home Thursday morning to water inside his Saline County home. I mean, everything that was carpet obviously is going to be ruined. He lives around the corner from where the fire department says they helped evacuate half a dozen homes around 9 a.m. Kind of sick to my stomach. Pretty sick. He's not the only person dealing with damage as the waters recede Thursday afternoon. Well, you can see the watermark on the end of the house there. That's about how high it came up. Nearby, Kelly Tucker manages rental property. This particular tenant, uh, she moved in about four months ago. We've not seen water even close to this since probably 1978. While looking down Clayton Drive, this local remembers flooding in this same spot more than four decades ago. I was in junior high school, and we were out here in boats picking people up off the roofs. Thankful it didn't get to that point, Tucker prepares to make repairs as Potter wonders where his outdoor furniture went. They're flooded off somewhere. He usually renovates other people's homes. So it's kind of a pain, more of a burden than anything. But now he'll need to work on his own place. The homeowner feature does have flood insurance and is now waiting to see what the next step is.